All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Strip Club. I'm coming to you from Rancho San Diego, that's outside San Diego, and I'm here to share a new strip club pattern with you. This one is called Sidestep. Do you like it? Yes. yes. In this quilt, we have uh, two and a half inch strips and background fabric. The background fabric is a light, you can see it almost in every block. It is one simple block. It's slightly twisted to complete the pattern. Now the sample that I have up on the wall is completely scrappy. You can also do a second variation where you separate your strips into lights and darks or color one and color two. So the sample that I'm going to show you for teaching purposes will have that light and dark variation so you can see what I'm talking about and it'll also use a dark background just to get you thinking in a different direction. Would you like to see how it comes together? Yes. Okay, did I say one simple block? There is your simple block. Very simple. So in this sample, the background is black. In our quilt, the background is a light print. It's this cream print. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. With everything else, it's um, the strips in this quilt are scrappy, and in here we've actually separated them into equal piles of light and dark. The pattern sidesteps will tell you how many strips you need and how much background fabric you need. So here you notice there's darkers and then lights on the other side. So that's how the block will come together. To make the block, it's really easy. You don't need me. We could do this all without words. We could do this without words today. But then somebody said that doesn't make for a very interesting video, so we won't. Background, um, sorry, two uh, print fabric sewn together. Press in one direction, cut out two and a half inch segments. Make a handful of segments just like so. If you're doing lights and darks, you need some that are lights and some that are darks. So with this two patch, we're going to add a black segment to make a four patch. And then the pattern will have told you how many of the other segment pieces to cut and what size to make them. And from there, you simply assemble your block. This is a light, we want it to match. So we'll put this piece, so those two pieces together and then in another step, you have created in the very same way as the previous, two fabrics sewn together, one a print, one a background, and then cut to create this piece. Do you see that piece right there? That is actually a print strip, and in this case, a background fabric of black. And those two will get sewn together to create that piece. And then you have these two pieces, actually these three pieces, which you'll sew together as one unit. This is a light print, this is a background square, and then you have a dark print. Do you see how it's all coming together? Yes. Yes, you do this at your tables too, so you don't have to laugh at me. <laughs> Is this it? Am I getting it? This is it? Like this? Okay, thank you for your help. So these pieces, it does look dark, but it is, it is lighter than these pieces. So when you're separating into light and dark, you don't need a strong definition of light and a strong definition of dark. What you do need is lights that are lighter than your dark, darks that are darker than your light. And um, so in this case, this is actually lighter than these, so that qualifies as a light. So these pieces together to make one unit, a column, these pieces, another unit, another column, and then these pieces, another unit, another column, and then you sew those three pieces together to get your block. That is your block. Brilliant. 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 Thanks. <laughs> so make a whole bunch of blocks, and then you're going to assemble your quilt together simply by putting those blocks together and twisting and turning them. Now, let me see if I can get the pattern, because it's harder on a design wall with 200 eyeballs looking at you. <laughs> okay, so this is the same block, yes? And this is the same block, yes? Is this the pattern? Yeah. <gasps> Just like that? Now for the next row, well, this is actually the same block in the same positioning across the board. Okay, now let's do this. 
So this is the same block again in the same positioning. Now, if you look at just the dark, it's forming the pattern, correct? Yes. However, here we have a dark up against a light. Right. So let's turn this around. So that our darks, here's our help. Is that what we're going to do? That wasn't what we're going to do. They both look good. So you have many design options. <laughs> In fact, you can even twist and turn them different directions. They are square, so you don't have to keep the pattern that we have put up on the wall here for you. So, <clears throat> gosh, these look so pretty together, don't they? I wonder if I have one done. Let me see. It just so happens I have two quilts here. I wonder if one of those. Thank you. Ta-da. Can you come step here yep. in the aisle like a bride? There you go. So what do you think? Is it beautiful? So this is exactly the same quilt as the one hanging on the wall. The differences are, of course, the choice of fabrics, the fact that we're using a black background instead of a light background. And by separating them into lights and darks, we've created ribbons of lights and darks, which is what I was trying to do up on the board, but it's very hard with just the four pieces. So, But now you see the whole quilt together. Do you see those ribbons, those diagonal stripes of lights and darks? Beautiful, isn't it? So I say lights and darks, but as I mentioned before, it can be two colors. You can have a ribbon of, I don't know, red and blue on a white background. There, it's a very versatile pattern. As you can see, it's a very easy, fast, and fun pattern, too. So terrific for just about any strip bundle. In fact, I have another sample. Would you like to see that? Yes. <laughs> for a completely different look. What do you think? Is that great? OK, again, now we have a light background, and it is, again, completely scrappy. So the pattern gives you the two options for the scrappy look and for the separation of the lights and the darks. Very pretty. It almost has a houndstooth print to it, don't you think? Yeah. In fact, I'd really love to see this quilt. And you know, raise your hand if you'd like to volunteer to have this for me tomorrow. I'd like, <laughs> I got to volunteer for the record. <laughs> How about in two, just two colors? How about like a gray and a white oh, or a black and a, a gray or a white? Does it really get that houndstooth effect? Mm -hmm. But we like those strip sets so much that, uh, oh, red and green, that'd be nice too. Do we have any questions on making the block? No? No questions? So what's the pattern called? Sidesteps. Side step. Side if you don't have the pattern, ask for it by name at your uh, local quilt shop. And since we are your local quilt shop, you guys all have the pattern. <laughs> well, it's that easy. So if there's no more questions, my friends, thanks for coming. And join us next month when we do another pattern for two and a half inch strip. Thank you. It's called Festivities. And it uses the strip tube ruler to cut out those triangles. Were you, uh, were you here last time? Yeah, yeah. but I don't remember seeing this. <gasps> you didn't see this one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's like new all over again. <laughs> now, look, this is one of my favorite things about this quilt. OK, so this is an accent fabric, right? Or this is the, I don't know what I call it, but it's the pinwheel fabric. And uh, notice in this pinwheel, it's on the long side. God bless you. And then over here, that same fabric is a little triangle and then just a little jog out to here. So you get this piece from the tube when you cut out that piece to create this little more dimensional pinwheel. So it's actually two different pinwheels in the quilt.
So this was the uh, second colorway. Would you like to see the first one? Oh, not ready yet. Not ready yet. So pretty. <laughs> Our secret hanging device. Da -da 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 -da. So this used a uh, Christmas fabric. In this pinwheel, it's um, the pinwheel's black, and then there's an accent fabric of gold in here to set it all off. <laughs> Go, shall I help you? Can I help you? What do you think? It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Oh, Lonnie, thanks so much. So it all started with the border fabric. We love this little border fabric with the black ground and then the gold reindeer and the poinsettia and the Christmas trees. And so we pulled the strips to match. Um, nice, crisp, white background and then the black for both the pinwheel and the cornerstone and then the gold to set it all off for the whole quilt. And then just that inner border of red to make it all pop. So a Christmas quilt that doesn't look too Christmassy. If, if you didn't look closely and see there were reindeer, you might not think it's a Christmas quilt. It does look like a party quilt, though. It's a party quilt. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that. Very pretty. OK, this was festivities. I could see that for a girl's birthday. You know, oh, purple yeah. And pink, uh, oh, purple that's and a great idea. Pinwheels. You know how we like pinwheels around here. Mm -hmm. 